Hey, what's going on my fellow jewelers? So today I'm going down the Resin Avenue. That's right, come along on this little bumpy ride with me about some resin. Now today we're making um, a pendant with flowers in it using UV resin. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. It's so, it's so itty bitty, so you. And these flowers are tiny, but look at that. Oh my gosh, isn't that so cute? Oh, I love it, but it's been kicking my butt. Those bubbles, I hate bubbles. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. I hate me some bubbles. I know I'm all like, oh, I'm so happy with life in the world, but you know what? Bubbles is my nemesis and I have no problem saying that. Superman had kryptonite, I have bubbles. And so today I'm going to teach you how to put some flowers in some UV resin pendant and help you try to not have any bubbles in your pendant because it just kind of doesn't look great. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe my channel and click that bell get notifications because I'm all about the how-tos of jewelry making. Whether resin, whether beaded jewelry, I got your back. You know what? I got your back. My name is Des Bullard. I got your back. So you and me with this resin pendant, let's get started. All right, let's get started making this cute flower pendant. Now the materials and the tools are all listed in the description below. Uh, so go ahead, check that out. If you want the same thing as me, you can purchase it. If you just wanna see kind of like what I have to get examples and go ahead and check that out. All right, so um, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna put tape behind um, my pendant. Now um, this is special tape for UV resin and the, the bezel, but you can actually use Use packing tape. So whether you use this or you just get regular packing tape and get at Walmart, then go ahead and so be it. So I am going to, um, I'm going to get my tape out. I'm going to put my bezel where I want it, just like that. And before I, I cut it, um, I want to make sure it's in the right place. And I want to cut extra. I'm going to cut extra. And the reason I do that, I'm not wasting tape. The reason I do that is because I need a place for my finger to hold down when I'm doing stuff, right? And that's a little much, but um, as you can see, uh, I I did a lot right there. Um, but, but you need it so you can put your finger down because your finger will get stuck, right? So I'm going to rub my finger along my bezel like that, rub my finger so that I know that it's stuck to every part of the tape. And then you need to use gloves. You absolutely need to use gloves. I mean, you should wear a mask too. I'm not using a mask because I'm talking to you guys, but every time I do this, I always wear a mask as well. So make sure you have a window open or you're in a well-ventilated room area and put on your mask, put on just a simple mask, or um, but to keep out the fumes because these fumes are toxic, they are dangerous, and you need to be able to protect yourself and be able to keep doing it because it is fun. Um, and if you don't, you could get a rash on your body or you could have lung problems. And so make sure you wear your gear. Again, I always wear my gear except when I'm doing videos because I want you guys to be able to hear me and see me. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make a really thin layer of uh, resin. I want to make a really thin layer. Um, you don't uh, you kind of put in the middle like that. That's a little much. Put it in the middle like that. And then you put your finger on the side and you move your resin around. Make sure it gets on every crack. Make sure it gets in every corner. You want to have a really thin layer along the bottom. You need to, yep, yeah, push it all along. And then once you get it in every corner, every crack, um, really slowly, you get your bubbles out. You move your bubbles, <laughs> they can be really hard and difficult. And so I kind of um, take them out like that. Sometimes I try to get them to the top so that I can use my fire. And so I get fire in there and a lot of bubbles pop and the ones that don't, um, I keep going at until I have all my bubbles. It's really hard, especially in the corners because the bubbles like to stay in the corners and then like to hide and it's really annoying. All right, I have my bubbles out. Now it's time to put my flowers in. Before I even put the light on it, I wanna get my flowers in on that first layer of resin. So I'm gonna put my flower down, just putting it down with um, my tweezers. I wanna put it in and I kinda wanna set it where I want it and kinda get it all surrounded by the resin. I see a bubble popping up and I'm gonna deal with that. And now um, I'm gonna start putting my flowers in as well and just placing them where I want them and then getting um, them nice in the resin. Be careful because if you push too hard, um, you could make a dark spot, which are kind of puncturing the um, the flower. And so just be careful. It's These are super delicate. I am not a delicate person, so I'm surprised I even like to do this stuff. 
Uh, but I, I actually really enjoy flowers and resin, which is a funny concept to me. I'm a kind of like an ogre, don't you know? I kind of like big, big ogre things, and um, it, this is a very delicate thing to do. So we're gonna go in, and we're going to gently tap it and make sure. Oh, I see bubbles under this guy, and it's driving me nuts. He is, and so I'm just gonna make sure that I push down on my resin, right, and make sure there's no bubbles. All right, now I'm gonna hit it with a Eufy uh, for 60 seconds on one side, and then I'm gonna flip it over and hit it again because I feel like it um, helps with the bubbles that way. So I've hit the UV on both sides. I'd like Because when you have your flowers, or you have other things in your bezel when you're doing resin and you have a layer, make sure you hit the top side and then flip it over and hit the other side because that way you can get it dry much better. So now um, let's go in and fill up, fill her up, fill her up. We wanna, we wanna fill her up. Um, yes, fill her up. Love it. Because what I just did, I dried that first layer. It's completely dried. And now I'm going to fill her up on one side. And I'm going to go through and get rid of the bubbles on this side. So now that I've gone around trying to get as much bubbles out as possible, hoping, hoping there's no more bubbles underneath. Um, because the bubbles will come out when you put the UV light on them. There's nothing you can do. They can go hiding and they're like, oh, light, come, let, let me see the light. It drives you nuts. So I'm going to put another light on this and then we're going to do the back side. All right, so we got the light on that side and now we're gonna peel off the tape and rub any like stickiness from the tape off and then put some more uh, UV resin on there. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna peel this back. Oh, looking good. I see just a couple bubbles in the corner. I don't mind that as long as they're not over my flowers. And feel, we're gonna feel for any sticking. Oh, I see. I feel just a little bit of stickiness right here. You can see even a little bit of the tape left over. You wanna just remove that. It's looking so good. I'm so excited. I gotta put my glove back on and then we'll put uh, the resin on the back of it. Ooh, this is, this is the exciting part. This is like the, the big finale, the grand finale. <laughs> So now I cut, I'm going to put resin on the back to make it like a nice shiny back and all. I'm going to use, once again, my handy dandy toothpick, best tool in the world for UV resin. Handy dandy toothpick. I'm going to just make sure it's on all corners and that it's evenly. I might need to put more if there's not enough to go around to all the sides. I'm going to go around to all the sides. So now we're just going to hit it with the light again. Another 60 seconds of your life. No big deal. <laughs> and there, my fellow jewelers, you have this amazing, beautiful flower pendant. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, it's so cute. Now I know it's a pendant. I know it's supposed to be right here, but I didn't have time to make a necklace between shots. And so I made it quickly into an earring. Earrings are so much quicker. And now I don't have another one on the other side. I just have this beauty. So you can just see one and pretend it's on the other side. Anyway. <laughs> I'm so weird sometimes. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Comment, share, like. I want to hear what you think about UV resin. I mean, I am so new to it. I was like, come on, let's do this journey together. And I love it. I love the flowers. I love doing it. I have so much fun. So um, also go to my Facebook. Don't go to Pinterest because I don't do Pinterest anymore. And my Instagram, Facebook, Instagram. And check me out there. I do sneak peeks of the week. And I also show some of my creations that I'm doing that I don't do for my videos. Now, before I go, because we're about to and this sucker. Um, before I go, I love praying for my viewers. I love praying for you. And the funny thing is, when I asked the Lord about what I should pray about, he showed me a garden. And in the garden were beautiful flowers. Someone was planting, making beautiful flowers. And then they got stomped. They got trashed. They got devastated. And he was just saying that some of you keep trying to make gardens in your life. You keep trying to build things, make things, you kind of companies or relationships. And it just feels like it keeps getting smashed or torn down or taken 
taken out. And the Lord wants me to pray that your garden um, would sustain, so would sustain from storms, would sustain from um, people being awful, would sustain even from the enemy that wants to come after you and take out. If you know what the enemy is, you know, message me and I'll talk all about it. But, but I just feel like some of you are trying to build things and it just keeps getting destroyed. So God, I thank you, Lord, that you care about things that we're trying to create, that you're, so, you are a creator, Lord, and you love creating and it breaks your heart when our creation gets destroyed. When we're trying to do businesses, when we're trying to build relationships, when we're trying to just make things in life. And so Lord, I pray, God, I pray against storms, destroying things. I pray against trials and tribulations. Lord, I pray against people coming in and destroying what has been made. I pray against the enemy just coming in and taking out, God, what, what is there? And so Lord, I pray protection over everybody's creation, over everybody's garden. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in on this pendant. Thanks for tuning in, um, watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! La 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 la